A dramatic, magazine-worthy living room and dining room. Looks like a designer showcase because it is. Kelly and Michelle tell me the budget-friendly secrets that should be part of any design. Secret one, reuse. You look for any pieces that you can keep, pieces that you can remake, pieces that have good lines, anything that's unique, anything that's special, any pieces that have meaning to the homeowner. That's what we're looking for. That's right, you may hate the old stuff, but if it is a well-made anything, chances are you can find a new purpose for it in your room. When you attacked this room, what did you keep? What was here before? Well, interestingly enough, our client had a lot of beautiful pieces mm -hmm. that she had inherited, um, but they all had a very traditional look. And she wanted to keep these pieces, but she was really wanting to freshen things up. She thought that she would need to get rid of this table because it just seemed too traditional. And then to change the fabric on the chairs, and then to add you know, an organic piece like this that makes it seem really young, as opposed to a big piece of glass that would be more traditional. And you put it all together, and it looks very good. I would have thought the same thing, looking at a table like this, and say, oh, that was really great for my mom. Right. But, right. and yet, you've, I mean, the color scheme, obviously, it plays into the whole plan you have for this room and it just pulls everything together. We added the wallpaper too which brings in elegance but also it's more of that transitional a little bit contemporary a little bit modern and all together it looks very pretty and very elegant but it doesn't look like your grandmother's table. So one of the things in this room I noticed right away was this rug. I mean take a look at it. This thing's worn out. It's old looking and it's perfect for this room. I, I probably would have thrown that out. Why didn't you? She wanted to get rid of it and we said you know it's the potential of the rug that adds the warmth and the character to the room and we think you should really keep it especially I mean we put new rugs on each end but to have this sort of ground the space and add that elegant patina we just thought it worked and now this looks like a treasured family heirloom it, it is when it secret to buy used you can go to local antique shops you can go to local flea markets you can go to local thrift stores and you know of course the internet now so everything from first dibs to craigslist where literally you can buy a set of dining chairs for ten dollars and you know make sure they're sturdy make sure they're good but then take them reupholster them and for a dining chair you don't need much fabric it's very easy sometimes you can even do it yourself shopping around the house for knickknacks too oh, right we love to do that in fact we i always say you know what where are those wedding gifts or where are those things that you think you just can't bring out bring them out let me see them and usually whether it's candlesticks or vases or just you know unusual bowls that they never really use you can use it to stage a room and it really really works all the pieces on the mantle are old pieces that we took out of the cabinets that she had never used and we just put up there and you know they look good and why put things away in cabinets and attics when you can use them and remake them and and they have meaning to her so that's what makes this room special and not look like a cookie cutter because all the pieces have meaning for her. They have meaning for her and they have meaning to me because you saved thousands of dollars by not having to buy yeah. all these accessories. Yeah. yeah. Secret three, mix discount with high end. Go to places like TJ Maxx, you know, go to Marshalls, see those little things that you find. And again, you don't want to just buy for the sake of buying. You want to buy things that have meaning to you. But for pops of color here and there, you can't beat a cheap in store like that. Over the mantle of the fireplace, a lot of people think, oh, that's got to be an expensive oil right. painting, right? right? You know, so exactly. everybody's going to be looking right. at that. Yeah. And just having that simple basket that you, and both fireplaces, mm -hmm. one, it looks great. Mm -hmm. The other thing is it adds that modern feel in this mm -hmm. room because it's not an oil painting. Right. And not too formal. It's all in the mix. I mean, all of this. And this sort of style, this vintage modern style, is about the mix. I mean, it's mixing organic with traditional, with mid-century modern like the table and the lamp and with old pieces I mean the both of these chairs and the ottoman she had they were in really good shape we didn't even reupholster them and they look great I mean they look great paired with very old vintage and it looks good it all works together secret for glossy lacquered paint you have something old and fuddy-duddy you get high gloss lacquer on a chair bright red with some fun fabric you now have a beautiful unique piece of furniture for not a lot of money we do love doing that. We love finding old vintage dressers, and nobody really wants those dressers. You know, they're very ornate, they're brown, they don't look pretty, and all of a sudden you put a hot color, you put a hot orange, you put a hot pink, you put, and it makes the entire room. And it does always seem to be the case that our vintage pieces turn out to be, they're usually the least expensive and the most popular pieces in any room. 
And don't forget this fast, cheap, and easy way to freshen any room. Another way to save, right, you say, is to take a look at the walls because a gallon or two of paint mm -hmm. is not that expensive. In fact, that's usually the first thing we'll do. And, and depending on someone's budget, it's you say, you know what, let's just hold off on the sofa or the chair, whatever else you want to do that would be a little more expensive, change the color. And it is amazing how much a coat of paint can add to a room. Michelle and Kelly love to reupholster old furniture that, other than the fabric, is in great condition. But remember, even if you find inexpensive fabric, it will cost a few hundred bucks to reupholster a chair. Get more budget-friendly tips at their website, npdesigninc.com.